Hello everybody, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl, I'm here to share my next video, what to put in a smoothie. Oftentimes a lot of people have asked me this, like, what, what do you put in your smoothie? Like, how do you make it? Um, there's so many recipes, options out there and you can literally make it up as you go. That's really what I do. I usually try to have my base. I have, especially like, you have to think, okay, I want my smoothie to be creamy. So you have to think, okay, I need to have something that's gonna make it creamy, right? So usually that would be like bananas, mangoes, avocados. Those kind of make things really creamy. And then you obviously want to have things that are really highly nutritious. You want to have, um, you know, your phytochemicals, antioxidants, antioxidants would be like all your berries, um, your greens would be like phytochemicals and things like that. So this is kind of one of the things that I basically try to do is I really consider um, what I put in. And so I'm just gonna toss some things in here. Right now I already have like my mango puree and now I'm just gonna add in my berries. So I have pomegranate seeds and I do a lot of frozen fruit because they keep longer, clearly. And then I will do some fresh fruit as well. And um, But unfortunately I don't have any right now because I am intending on leaving and going on a trip. And so I really don't want to buy anything new for right now and then I've got lots of them. So this one is a very berry, <laughs> um, a very berry smoothie. And I do, so I took my frozen that I was afraid would spoil and I cleaned it up, put it in the um, fridge, and then I have frozen berries as well that I add in um, just to give a little bit more. And the color might come off super weird, so if you're like, ooh, I don't want it looking brown and stuff, that would be gross. It, honestly, I'm not a big, I'm not, I don't have a big problem with that, mainly because, so I'm adding spinach now frozen spinach. Um, I don't really have a major problem with that, like my smoothie looking oddly colored, um, but if you have that visual disconnect, then you can add more fruits that basically heighten the color. So things like, you know, beets definitely take over in terms of color. Um, you probably uh, may want like more blueberries in there just to have more of a blue, so purpley color. Um, and then you don't really wanna add too many greens because then that offsets, right? So it's really up to you. I'm now adding my apricots and I just added frozen pineapples uh, to this. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and of course I add my, um, my probiotics to this. I don't do this every day. A lot of times people think, oh, um, do you do it every day? No, actually I don't. I do this like when I've gone on a really long run or I've really exhausted my muscles and I really want um, as much of those um, nitrates in my body because that helps basically with the recovery. Um, you want to you know, I think I've mentioned this in my previous videos, like when it comes to like excessive exercise or, you know, trying to recover from a really long day, a hard day, especially if you've been, it's labor intensive, then you really want to make sure that you're eating something that's going to help more blood flow, more oxygen to all your muscles. And so that's one of the things that I do as on top of like, you know, taking a cold bath, a shower. And sometimes I'll just soak in a bath, depending on if I've really exerted my legs, then I'll just soak my legs. So that's pretty much it, and then I just fill it up with water. Oh, forgot the most important thing, mangoes. I need the creamy mangoes. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, every single time I make my smoothie, it's it's always different, it's not always the same exact thing. Uh, sometimes I'll add um, different things to it. It's really what I have in the kitchen, and it's not something that you really should think too hard about. It's just toss and go, you know? And that's kind of what you want, right? You don't want to be like trying to wonder, oh, how am I going to, you know, put this together? Oh, do I have everything that I need? Generally, you're going to get all of the stuff that you need based on how you eat on a daily basis anyways. As long as you're eating well, then you're going to, you know, provide your muscles and your body with the right stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this and see what color comes out. <laughs> 
Uh, looks like the verdict is purple. Turned out really pretty. I did end up adding a little bit of coconut milk to it because I really, I had um, some frozen cubes of it. So I decided that to go ahead and toss that in there um, to add a little bit of fat to it. And let's taste test this. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like I should have added, and see, and that's the thing about like exploring different things that you put into your smoothie. Not all of it is gonna be great. I feel like it definitely is missing something. Maybe I should put some cantaloupe in it. I think I'm gonna do that. And then I will return and tell you guys what the verdict is. Alright, I added the cantaloupe, I blended it up, and verdict is it turned out way better so sometimes that's kind of what it takes I mean it just is adding little things to it to enhance it if you want it sweeter you could add dates to it so it's more of a natural and it's also low glycemic instead of adding sugar or honey you could add um, let's see what else bananas but I feel like bananas tend to overpower and that's the thing I don't like about bananas because I don't necessarily like the taste of bananas but nonetheless I hope that this blesses you guys and encourages you. And with that said, may you live, drive, and be healthy. Take care. Bye.